hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video if this is your first time my name is charity if you are new but if you're coming back thank you so much i'm glad to have you and i want to take this few minutes to pray for you as my returning subscriber every time you watch my video i'm so happy and i'm praying for you that god will bless you where you need god where you need God, he will be there for you in Jesus name. Amen. Um, if you are a new person in this channel, like you see me for the first time, well, I would love for you to join this family by using the subscribe button. It's a sign in red color. It says subscribe. So click on that button and then you've subscribed. It doesn't cost nothing. Okay. And then there is a bell that comes up. If you click on that bell, it is for notification. Every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Okay, so um, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing something that I feel a lot of people want to hear. And um, if you are married already, it's good for you to be here because definitely you're going to pick one or two things to pass to somebody that you know that wants to get married and it's pre and is you know preparing for it or something like that. And you can as well share this video with anybody, your loved one, or whoever. <laughs> welcome back and um, we start now okay first thing that I want to share with you when you are preparing to get married or you are looking for your own man or looking for your own husband the first thing that I will share with you is to get busy with other things okay if you um, if you notice this with me every time you are looking for something and you are desperate for it like it takes all of your energy all of your time it takes you um, or your mind, you find out that these things begin to drain you, okay? They begin to drain you and you may just lose your personality. You may just lose yourself into the fact that you're looking for something and then you, you begin to disappear from your own self, okay? So I would want you to get busy with other things, like get yourself involved with business, try to make money because these days people are looking for ready-made, okay? Nobody is looking for just fine girl without brains, okay? So in as much much as um, you want a husband you also want to be a busy person you want to be making some money okay you want to invest you want to do a lot of things you want to save okay so um I would love for you to use this opportunity that you are using to find yourself a man while you are praying for a husband asking God for a husband for your own spec take out time to do some other things work make money okay because you never can tell where your own husband is standing by waiting for you. It could be at a place you are working. It could be in your place of um, hustling, trying to make some money. It could be in your place of, you know, busy doing something lucrative, okay? Because these days, people are looking for people that will complement them. Nobody wants a liability, okay? So um, in as much as you want to settle down, in as much as you want your own husband, you need to be busy making some money. You need to be busy using your brains trying to do something positive for yourself so ad advice number one get busy do something else you know pretend that you are not looking for husband that's just the word okay just pretend you're not looking for a husband don't be under pressure don't be pressurized by anybody okay because in the end you're the one that is looking for a husband and you're the one that is going to get married okay pretend so, uh, that you are not looking for husband but in your brain you know what you're looking for. I hope you get what I'm saying. So if that makes any sense, let me know, okay? Now, number two that I'm going to be sharing with you, I would love to say to you, to be a better version of yourself. Look, there is something I want us to know. No matter who you are as a human being, there is always room for, you know, better, okay? There's always room for improvement. There's always room to be a better version of yourself or of your personality, okay? So I would love for you to take time to study yourself. I always do that. I want to check and see my um, level now. How am I behaving now? How can I improve? 
because checking myself between me now and me some years ago i know that there is a lot of difference i've had to work on myself i've had to work on my mentality on my thoughts on my actions i've had to work on my reasoning a lot of ways okay so um be a better version of yourself because especially for those of you who are into um relationships like you're always in a relationship in and out in and out and um it seems like no one is hooking it up or no one is interested to bond it or to make it concrete then uh you should be in a position to think now you know to sit back relax and um try to be a better version of yourself it doesn't mean that you have to change because you are your personality that is one thing you have to know okay you are you and you are different from every other person or every other human being out there and that is your uniqueness that is what makes you who you are but then there is always room for us to improve you know and um, try to correct some things that we do that in our minds we know this could be a hindrance it could be because of the way you talk it could be be because of the way you react to situations uh it could be because of um one thing or the other you know that you may not even know about but if you think and then you pray and then you ponder on yourself and your personality you may just be able to pick out those things that you think is repelling people from you or is uh, making people not to be able to stick around and try to make that relationship concrete and try to figure out where the leakage is coming from so if it's something you have to work on then you have to work on it and make sure that you improve your personality that you change from um not you know changing who you are but improve on some things that you think are causing hindrances into your into your life and uh, into your relationship so that is my number two now okay. as my number three guys i want to ask you to learn you know befriend some married people who are positively married okay like they are not pretending i'm going to share something with you if you want to befriend a married person befriend people who are you know open to letting you know the truth in being married okay because what it does for you is that it prepares you i have a friend like that she has a lot of people who are married and i'm telling you that by the time she gets married she's gonna find it quite easy because a lot of things will not come to her as shock because she has seen it all she has seen the good the bad the ugly the beautiful you know so um it's definitely building her capacity and making her prepared for what is ahead of her i don't know if you're getting my point so you make friends and a try Try to befriend those who are married, those who understand the journey in a, a marriage, who would help you to be a better person when you finally do get married. For instance, um, making friends with people who do not prepare pretend i'm going to share something with you there was a time in my marriage um in my early years in marriage then i was a classroom teacher i was walking to school and um i think i cried the night over and then i cried and my eyes were swollen my husband upset me or something and i cried and my eyes were swollen and in the morning when i was going to work i met some people who are close friends or um something like that and they wanted to know why my eyes were swollen and i just Every time they ask me, I just go like, I cried. And um, I find out that a lot of them don't even want to keep asking you why you cried. Okay, so um, every one of them, you know, or some of them must have been married. And they know that once in a while, you have to cry, you know. I, I, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to cry, but get married and then let's see if you don't cry for one day okay so um you get people like that who are going to be able to share the good moments with you the the hard moments with you and then it prepares you to get married you know don't be um an instagram marriage brought up okay i don't know why um or how i'm going to explain this to you but don't be an instagram pictured marriage person like you're getting married because you are watching a lot of instagram marriages i'm so sorry but these people are fake like most of them not exactly all of them but most of them are fake in the sense that the times that are bad they don't come to show you those times because they know that you're going to capitalize on those times people don't like you know people like to spread bad news so every time they have good moments they have holidays they have outings they bring those ones to come and show you the enjoyment part 
part of their marriages but they do not show you the terrible times the times that they they they've had to cry the times that they've had had to be um in a in a situations where it's kind of tight for them you know those things are not shown those things they don't show you so you are getting married thinking that marriage is a bed of roses i'm just going to go into it and have fun cruise all my life and you think that is the end of it no so uh make friends with people who are experienced in marriage who are open to teaching you things that you need to know you know to um prepare you when you are finding your own man okay so um that's my number three way to prepare yourself in finding your own husband now i want to use this as my next point that you should not be too babyish i've met some girls that i would sit and listen to and i would just go like oh my god they are too babyish they they talk like little children they laugh like little children they uh, behave like little children i'm not saying that you should be too serious no a lot of people can get too serious and then they scare people away like i can't be with this person because he's always serious too serious okay so in as much as you are going to be um you know uh free-minded you play you know sometimes you you just have to learn to blend the two because um every time in life is not for play it's not for being childish okay people don't like to deal with small children people don't like people to come to them and start behaving like babies okay so uh you have to learn it's part of the attitude that i talked about earlier you can ask your loved ones those that are going to be truthful with you to you know tell you things that you do that they think can actually repel people and another thing that i want to say to you is that you can actually do some of these checkups yourself like ask yourself if i am a man would i come for me would i love me would i marry me you know ask yourself questions like that sit down you know one on one no one on you by yourself and ask yourself these questions if i'm a man will i marry me will i go for me what are my qualities that would make me want to be a married person to me and what are those things that i think can actually attract me to me okay so if you do that it is going to just automatically help you to in a, a very high extent find those things that are about you that you know are not good enough that can repel guys or repel um a supposed husband from coming to you okay so um do a checkup on yourself work on yourself you know check yourself inside and out and try to pick out those things and then again you can ask your loved ones okay you can ask people that are truthful to you to um point out the characters or the things that you do or say or act that can actually like repel people from you if they tell you those things sincerely then you have to take them sincerely and then work on them and there definitely is going to be a change in your way of finding a husband okay now i want to say as my next point that you should be classy okay be classy as a person but don't be too expensive i want to say it again be classy but don't let your fee to be high to be too high okay for some people um it's okay to be classy it's okay to be you know sexy it's okay to be a hot chick but don't let yourself don't let your fee don't let your cost to be too high because people don't want you to come and drain them because you are trying to look classy i can look as classy as pretty as possible but less expensive okay i mean how much are my uh are the stuff that i wear how much did i buy them how much is my hair how much is my clothes i don't have to um go to market or go to a cloth shop and start looking for that highest you know bida cloth i want to have it all i want to have the most expensive and sometimes you wear this most expensive and they don't even fit you they don't even look good on you so it's not about how expensive you dress that makes you classy but it's all about knowing what is good for you your body size your body shape what is good for me how can i tone it down or how can i tone it up how can i make it look good for me okay that is what makes you classy it's not about the cost of what you are wearing i don't know if that makes any sense at all so um be classy be sweet be sexy but don't make your feet to be too high don't make your feet to be too high for people okay 
don't make your feet to be too high but be you sexy and be ye classy okay Another point that i want to make is that you should stop chasing men i have seen people chase men and it's so irritating look god has made it the way it's supposed to be and um, when people try to um, cut corners and turn it around sometimes they argue with that it is good you can go out for the person you want you know you can find your way you know to toast the person talk to the person you know meet up with the person say how you feel but the truth of the matter is that god's own way is still the best way you can do it and it stays sexy like that like you um you may find somebody that you like but because it is in a place for the man um, it is in a place for the men to be the ones that talk to the women or chase the women or propose to the women. There's always a way around everything, okay? Um, if you are bold enough to walk up to a guy, I don't know how I'm going to advise you, okay? But I would say to you, the bold one, because I'm not, I would say to you to um, know how to do it maturely don't make yourself to become a fool okay i've seen people chase people like the way they do it if i am the man i would definitely say no to them okay i've seen people chase people in the name of you can actually go for him and tell him how you feel and they just do these things absolutely wrong okay so um i would say that you give nature its cause and its chance if that person is a person for you your character is going to magnet you together okay your personality your behavior your thoughts and your mind is definitely going to magnet you together and somehow he would come for you men are used to being the ones that go for the women okay don't chase men it won't fit you okay men are used to it that is it's in, it's in their nature to be the ones that find themselves who they want and then they go for the person by themselves not um not you trying to force them or teach them you know how to do their things okay so but if you have a guy that is shy and um, he finds it very difficult. Some people are like that to talk to you. But you know that this guy wants you. Your mind, you feel it. Your woman, you feel it that this guy wants you. There's always a way to, you know, go about it maturely. But please do not chase men. Don't go about spending your money on a guy. You, you are taking him out. You're buying things for him. You're trying to, you know, push your way into the life of this person just because you are finding a husband that is very very wrong or some people go about you know meeting family members this has started happening like years ago people will go to people's family members start buying things for them you know start taking them out start trying to please them when they know that when they actually come into the marriage it's a different ball game they are not even ready to be that person that they're trying to form themselves to be so why start in the first place okay just because you want to find yourself a husband nature should take its course if you find a man you like pray that god will you know like magnet the two of you together and then it will work and you become partners. men are wise they are not stupid okay they know what they are doing you need to see or hear where they sit and talk about women you know they know what they're doing they know when you are forcing your way into their lives they know they know when you are trying to push them to you know get married to you they know they know when you are trying to get pregnant in order for them to marry you they know these things they are aware they may pretend to you like they don't know but i'm trying to let you know that they are aware so don't chase man let man chase you okay if that makes any sense again now finally for this video there are still a lot but finally for this video i want to say don't be too bossy some people can be too bossy in relationships okay you want to take care of everything you want to be the one that will pay the bills you want to be the one that will take him out pay for him you know buy him drinks take care of him you know show him that you can take care of things these can be rebellious, okay? These can be rebellious, especially to African men, especially to Nigerian men, especially to men from my own tribe, okay? They want to be in charge. They want to be the man, okay? So um, when you are too bossy for them or you want to make your... um your own demands are met you want to make the things you want to be what will happen it kind of repels them okay so i would advise don't be too bossy you can um show who you are 
in a respectable manner okay you can show who you are and then you ask him if he is okay with your decision is it okay by you like i'm gonna be doing something like this would you want me to or you want to do it yourself you know try to communicate and um try to talk about things before going and ha ahead to do it you know like some people in a relationship you want to surprise a man because you have money you go and rent an apartment furnish it and everything and then you bring in, in him into the house and say ta-da baby this is what i got for us he may just not like it um some people may like it but a lot of people especially the egoistic men they won't want it okay they may just pull uh, their teeth out like this as if they like what you've done but inside of them they may not like it so um it is better you discuss it like talk about it i can afford this baby do you think it's okay for me to do it would you like it or you want to do it yourself okay so that gives him uh, gives you the chance to you know be your person okay be the boss for a little and then it also gives him the respect that you want his opinion so if he's okay with it he will tell you if he's not okay with it you will know okay uh, other than you going to do it and then coming back to surprise him or let him know that you are able to do it some people don't like it and in every other aspect of your relationship don't be too bossy even as a human being looking for a husband do not be too bossy because it can be rebellious people can look at you and be like oh i can't deal with this one because she's gonna want to run me over okay and nobody as a man wants to be run over even as a woman you don't want to be run over okay so uh people can be repelled by people like that okay so um i hope you are able to pick one or two things in your journey to finding yourself a handsome husband in this year 2021 20, or every other year 22 23 20 whatever you are trying to find yourself a husband this is the time okay incorporate all of this together and you will definitely find yourself an amazing 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 spec for you and your own husband and not another person's husband okay so um thank you so much for watching share for watching share this video with a lot of people who are looking for husband share it with parents who have daughters share it with sisters share it with a lot of people so i thank you and i love you and see you in another video okay i hope you have not forgotten to subscribe and then give me thumbs up okay thank you so much I will see you in my next one. Love you like always. Ciao, ciao. Bye.